Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Nadia and this is the place where we get real. And today I'm getting real about penis size because a lot of y'all that follow me are men and I get asked very often, does size matter? And I want to settle this once and for all. Is it the size of the want that matters or is it the work of the wizard? I'm gonna give you an answer right after this. Guys, gals, non-binary people, you're getting yourself in the mood. Don't wanna be really curly them like this. Let me start that again. <laughs> Can I get anything right? One of the ways sex education really lets us down is by teaching us that sex is something that can only happen when an erect penis goes into a vagina. And we don't really get a lot more information about sex than that in school. So most of us end up turning to porn to fill in the gaps. And you have probably noticed if you have watched porn that there tends to be something that all male porn stars have in common. And that is a really big dick. So does this mean women want men to have really big dicks? Why do all the men in porn have giant penises? Well, as someone who has actually visited a live porn set in person and interviewed dozens of porn actors and sex workers over the years in my job as a sex columnist and a sex educator here on YouTube, I can tell you that the penises you see in porn are not big for the reason you think. Actually, the main reason porn tends to show predominantly large penises is because porn is visual and it is harder to show penetration when a penis is average size. A lot of people who watch porn really want to see that graphic image of a penis penetrating a vagina. So for starters, porn actors tend to have sex in really uncomfortable positions to get the angle so that the penis can be shown. And then porn actors, specifically male porn actors, are expected to have larger than average penises so that porn directors and porn filmmakers can really create that visual. And that is the key here. Male porn stars have penises that are significantly larger than the average penis. But because large penises tend to be all we see in porn, it can be easy to think that's what your penis is supposed to look like. And it can create penis insecurity. Most men's penises are not nearly as big as what we see in porn. The average flaccid penis is between three to four inches in length. And the average erect penis is between five to six inches in length. And this is due to the biggest study conducted into penis size to date, which included over 15,000 male respondents from across the globe. So rest assured, your penis is probably average. Now, most of you are probably thinking, okay, so I'm average, but does my size matter? Do women care about penis size? And also, does penis size make a difference in terms of how much sexual pleasure I'm able to give my partner? Well, I think you're gonna be very surprised by the answer. But before I share that answer, I want to give a big shout out and a huge thank you to today's video sponsor, my friends at Promescent. Promescent make a range of delay sprays. That's what they are best known for. Now, I don't actually normally endorse delay sprays because in my experience, the ones that I've seen, they're very messy. They tend to actually just completely numb you. So you can't really feel anything or even enjoy the sex. They can be transferred to your female partner so then she can't enjoy the sex. And 
nobody ends up winning in that equation. But Promescent's products work really differently. They actually just work to take the edge off. They're not going so deep that you're going to be having sex feeling numb. You're still going to feel all of those amazing feel-good feelings, but you're going to have that edge taken off that makes you feel like you're going to get to climax at any minute because you want to hold off for your female partner. And also, it's a quick and easy spray, but if you want something even more convenient, particularly for traveling, they also recently launched some delay wipes, which you can just use by wiping over the shaft of the penis and just letting it sink in and do its magic and then you are good to have sex as usual but what it means is by taking that edge off it's going to make you last longer so your female partner can have time to relax her brain so her vagina can get in the game so she can get to orgasm. So one of the largest surveys conducted into heterosexual women's perception of their male partner's penis size found that almost 85% of women are really happy with their current male partner's size. And keep in mind, most men fall into that average bracket, not into the bracket of men that we see in porn. Now, regular viewers of this channel will have heard me talk about Masters and Johnson. They conducted groundbreaking research into sex and pleasure back in the 1960s by studying real people in labs having sex and masturbating. And they use these experiments to measure all kinds of different things that helps them to understand more about the way pleasure works. And one pretty significant finding to come out of this research was that penis size had no real physiological impact on heterosexual women's sexual satisfaction. But how could this possibly be? I hear some of you asking, because of course, we've all been told that sex is all about the penis. It's all about penetration. So wouldn't size be really important? Well, no, not really. Research has repeatedly shown that only a very small portion of women are able to reach climax through penetration alone. The vast majority of women require direct, sustained clitoral stimulation in order to get to the big O. And this should be great news for anyone who has a penis and has anxiety about its size. Because the reality is, no matter what the size is of your penis or what you're doing with it, it is not going to stimulate your female partner's clitoris. The best way to do that is going to be through things like grinding, fingering, oral sex, and including toys. What we know from the most extensive study ever conducted into sexuality and orgasm is that while straight men orgasm 95% of the time during partnered sex, their female partners are only orgasming 65% of the time. But here's the real clincher. Lesbians orgasm almost as much as straight men. So what is the difference between straight women and lesbians? Well, most straight women are having penis in vagina sex that doesn't tend to pay a lot of attention to the clitoris because that is the model of sex that we have been taught. Whereas queer women tend to have sex that involves lots of oral sex, lots of manual stimulation, things like fingering, and also incorporates toys. All of these things ensure that the clitoris is getting a lot more attention paid to it, and the clitoris is the key to closing the orgasm gap. If you want to make your female partner climax, you're actually not likely to do that through your penis. You're most likely to do it through stimulating her clitoris. Now you can absolutely do a combination of both. The best way to do this is for you to lie down and have your partner be in girl on top position, straddled over you so she is riding you and then her clitoris can grind against you while she's riding you. Or to really amp things up, you can actually put a toy, a small bullet vibrator on her clitoris, or you can even stimulate it with your fingers while she's riding you. Now, I have no doubt there's gonna probably be some people in the comments section telling me that, 
I'm not allowed to comment on this issue because I identify as a lesbian. But actually, I was with men for all of my 20s before coming out as gay. I was pretty desperate to fit into the mold of a straight girl and pretty confused about my sexuality, to be honest. I can tell you, not just from someone who has had sex with men, but also from someone who speaks to women every single day in my job as a sex columnist and a sex educator and just as a woman, who has lots of female friends. And I'm very confident in letting you know, size does not matter to the vast majority of women. Will there be some women that say a big dick is really important to them? Sure, no doubt. But I hope by now I've made it clear to you that those women are not the majority. The majority of women really don't care. It isn't the size of the one that matters. It's the work of the wizard. Gosh, that is such a good metaphor. And the work of the wizard doesn't have to be done with the wand. It can be done with fingers or tongue or toys. So ditch those penis insecurities, stop worrying about whether you can have a rock hard dick all the time and spend more time focusing on your partner's clitoris. And that is all for this video. I will see you in the next video. Mwah.